Our expectations for the upcoming season for our men's tennis program here at Emporia State University um, are, are fairly high. We uh, had finished last year very, very well, finishing in the top four in the regular season. Um, and this year we added um, three new guys. Uh, we added uh, Charles uh, Gourdizon from Paris, France. Uh, we also added Jana Jacobi from uh, Germany. And then um, we added also um, uh, um, a third player, Taylor Nelson from New Zealand. So, um, you know, we're up to nine guys in our roster, which is exciting. Uh, we also played a lot of matches in the fall, played a lot of dual matches in the fall and traveled both to Illinois and also to Colorado and had really good results there. Uh, furthermore, on the women's side, uh, we brought in a couple of new players. We have a transfer player, Mariana Alvarez from Heinz Junior College in Mississippi and also Savannah Casares from uh, Paraguay, who's a new freshman. So that we expect those two women to add uh, to our lineup and really excited to, uh, uh, with both teams, also have senior leadership uh, on, on both, of the, both of the teams, Kaylee Clark on the women's side, and then two uh, really important seniors for us over the last four years, uh, Matthias Mota and Patty Cameron on the men's side. So um, I think both with the senior leadership and with the new uh, people coming in, it's gonna be an exciting year. We're really, have uh, some um, good tennis in front of us with our schedule. Okay, then talk a little bit about the MIAA this year. All right, MIAA is always, always tough, and it seems like each year that it get it, it does get tougher. Um, certainly um, uh, on, the, on the men's side, you have uh, uh, Northwest and uh, also SBU, who um, you know, always uh, continues to finish uh, first and second in the league. Uh, Washburn has been coming on as well, but you know we feel like that we're in the, that mix as well now uh, with the six men's teams in the league, and I, I know that our guys um, are excited to play these teams. And um, you know uh, we had, to, like I said, good results last year with beating a couple league teams. On the women's side, um, there's even more teams with nine, and uh, with with playing against all these different teams in these different areas. Um, it's just a matter of uh, gearing up for each match and just uh, being healthy and be ready to go for, uh, for a longer women's schedule this, this semester. And you talk a little bit about the schedule in this semester. You've also did a little bit last fall. Just talk a little bit about that on the men's side especially. Yeah, yeah. With the, we had two different tournaments. We hosted both of them. One was here in Emporia. One was up in Topeka. And uh, both of those tournaments were really well. The weather was fantastic and we were able to play a lot of matches, get a lot of singles and doubles under our belt. Uh, on the men's side, we were able to, to do a little bit more because we had a pretty full, full roster. We played uh, f uh, three duels both in um, Colorado and another three duels in Illinois, playing some teams that we'd not played before, and we, we won the majority of those matches, which is really exciting for the guys. But most importantly, they were able to come together and really mesh well as a team and get to know each other and have a lot of fun along the way. Uh, on the women's side, we were uh, shorthanded, so we weren't able to play a lot of um, uh, mat dual matches, but we were able to play uh, the tournaments with the women and, and introduce them to the uh, collegiate competition, especially the new people.